<laughs> Off to a good start. <laughs> Had to shut okay. that off right there. So, all right. Uh, welcome to, to another exciting game of Frosty doesn't understand that we don't know Goblinoid. <sighs> you guys should know Goblinoid. <laughs> I mean, know uh, everybody uh, else, every other language, not that one. <laughs> you know how much goblins are just too precious, so that I use them everywhere. Like what? you should. It's happening. You know... what? what is what? You okay? You having a stroke? Uh oh. She's stroking oh, no. out. <laughs> we just Rip fucking an started. And then Aneski starts glitching out because she was the <laughs> AI the whole time. Oh no. Oh no. I guess I guess. Uh, <laughs> the ghost is there! <laughs> the ghost is gonna play as Aneski today, everybody. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I knew the. Uh... I knew the poltergeist was <laughs> uh, was gonna try to play. Huh. So she can't hear us, but we can hear her perfectly. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. Okay. No. no. Hello. Hello. Hi. Oh God! Okay, that was so weird. All right. Just okay. give me one second. I'm gonna I'm gonna restart Discord just to be okay. safe. Yeah. Sure. Good idea. Okay. <laughs> what a beginning. <laughs> uh, last time we, seven to seven we, to we recall, we went to the church of uh, uh, misspelling, aka bureaucracies. <laughs> And uh, it's a name, I can't misspell it. Yep. Uh, he he thinks it's a noun, but he doesn't even capitalize it. So it's not a proper oh, noun. Oh no. Okay. Uh, well as you learned, it is not a proper god in there, it is a uh well. I'm a sure machine. the priests and paladins of bureaucracies would would be slightly annoyed at your description. <laughs> Uh, but we then went to the Church of Gosh. We found a way of uh, restoring uh, Nari's hearing. Hooray! Mm -hmm. Which Woo. is good, because we need her to be able to hear us when we complain about her behavior. Oh. <laughs> and, Can't and go for an met, intervention if you're deaf. We, we, we met a, a, a fabrication-based robot uh, called... Sing song or something Symphony. like that. Uh, Symphony. Symphony, yeah. Sing song, yeah. pretty close. Pretty close. Uh, who said that there's other robot AIs who have just kind of... There's old guard, there's new guard, and some of the old guard really don't like people who need to breathe, which... Uh, I guess you're not, technically. So if, yeah, if technically. their plan is to suffocate everyone in the city, you're good. Yeah, uh, I'm uh, actually so yes. golden. On the social page, I've given you the the Warforged uh, are the old ones. Oh, well, Soul a bunch of the brand new. Yeah, the others are just like here's some tokens I'm going to use, but there are more than these. Okay, but yes. Uh, okay, but uh, more or less, there seems to be, uh, uh, you know, Kiln, who we all understand is not a raid boss. Nope, that's and uh, Sheer the Edge yeah. Master, who seems to be uh, living up to their name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I I took their the image I had for them. I wasn't satisfied with. I went and found a much edgier token, and there we go. Right, I'm gonna zoom in real good on this. Yeah, uh, uh, it's oh, real, yeah. real edge. Woo -wee. <laughs> Look at all those edges. There's so many. Yeah, everything about them is shy. Uh, nothing can break the top of the bottom. Belts. There are some chains, oh, they though. Don't have to that, uh, they do have chains. chains, you're right. They have chains, they got big claw hands. Uh, yeah. The, the, the chains need to zip together. <laughs> and buckles, they need a lot of buckles. Oh, uh, yes. Okay, I'll make these design like notes. Like a dress uh, we'll made out of buckles, like a few <laughs> okay. animes. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to take these design notes to heart. Uh we're going to break and uh next session next session we'll have <laughs> right. the correct GG. load out here for it. What's for our loot for the What's our loot uh, for thanks session? for watching. Uh I hope Thank you, you all learned a valuable lesson today. Uh <laughs> see you maybe next week unless uh 
soap operas interrupt. <laughs> oh, I so, forgot. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Should Mark, actually, this, this character is dead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, you murdered her. Okay. She got fucked. <laughs> Uh, which 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 character do we now oh. have? Do I get to, ah okay? Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to say uh, I I have to add a note saying uh, saw the sun only after death. <laughs> kind of poetic. <laughs> also a bigot. Wait, is this the right person, or did? I no, no, no. This is the person you killed on the road here. Oh, oh. Okay. This is the, the earth elemental person. Who was digging up down through the ground. And then uh, tried to pick me in the head again. <laughs> there we go. Maybe, okay, develop, so... it's, maybe it's like a vaccination. Once you get picked in the head once, like, you're <laughs> resistant to it later. You, you know, I, I, I always kind of wondered, like, with, with Harry Potter, was he just immune to the death curse after you survived it once? You're like, you know what? Yeah, hit me with it. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Can't do anything more to me that hasn't already been done to me. What, are you going to kill me to death? I'm immune. Points towards uh, Lightning Scar. Regardless, okay. other than so, uh, going Ian has caught you up on the, uh, the previously on quite effectively. <laughs> Thank you for that. And uh, Lots of practice. Yes, yes, I believe it. So, uh, you have met a soul forged. Uh, they told you about the soul forge itself, which is top left corner ish, uh, like upper top left corner. It's big old red letters. Uh, yeah, and what do you want to do? I don't know if I want to... Now, we might... We do have a this head start. This is somewhere where I need the player consensus. I need all my team to be mm. uh, a majority vote. Do we go straight for the Soul Forge and try to get good relations with the now inhabitants and inhabitants of the city? Or... Do we explore stuff and get to them later and hope that other adventures haven't fucked everything up? So, we're supposed to be here, like, really early. We did a really good job about that, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so you are here... Two days early. Two days before any other adventures arrived. Uh, about, I don't know, three days after the city was initially unflooded and explored. So, let's see. If I I'm going to make some marks on the map. If I am allowed. Yeah, go for it. Uh, just don't do it in the red. No, I'm going to do it in green. I'm going to try to not make a square, but it looks like it wants to make me to do a square. Uh, you can oh, all for a circle. Do... Okay. So, these are the places that I think might be worth checking out. Mm -hmm. uh, circled in green. Uh, obviously, the Soul Forge is one of them. Uh, the museum yes. might be interesting. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the hospital, but the rest of it seems really dangerous or boring. <laughs> uh, like the monster pits. Eh, maybe not go there. Uh, the market down here. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be anything salvageable at this point. But like <laughs> anything and anything made out of also metal keep in mind. would be fine. Uh, as you've done your uh, knowledge history before this, you know uh, a lot of uh, private goods, like people's own belongings, people's own shops, was uh, able to be evacuated when the city was flooded. So stuff like the goldsmiths may not be full of gold. Oh, no, but there might be something. Oh, yeah. There, there could be something left over somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, that is fair. This is just my personal glance because we don't have a lot of time to do everything. Yeah, go for it. Uh, so that's... I think we should hit everything else before we go there. I think we have the time for... All right. Uh, meta meta wise I think we could do events, rest, and then Soul Forge without getting fucked by something, like other adventures. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. that's what we could so, afford at the, the, the minimum. So you arrived uh, midday, and you have a two-day head start, so you were expecting... You can take two rests and still have a... A half a day. 
Oh. But we and we want to try to get around the city as quick as possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, also, on those notes, if you want to get around quietly, uh, who is you have that cloak of elven kind, which is mm -hmm. a plus five bonus to self. Uh, do you want to put that on the person who has the lowest stealth so that you can, as a group, be quieter? Or do you want to put that on the person with the best stealth so you have a scout? I think scouting would probably be smartest. Okay. Because I don't know how, how stealthy we are, we're going to be with Symphony around. Mm -hmm. Well, that depends if they want to be the one-man band all down the streets fixing everything with right-ass magic. or <laughs> uh, We could try to get Symphony to help us through walls and make it a little quicker. Mm -hmm. And anyway, I want to spend more time with this fascinating life form. Yeah. <laughs> it is it is very much like me, but does not regenerate. Hmm. You don't know that? I, like, my character's trying to conceive of uh, other life forms that are as perfect as its race. <laughs> uh uh, but uh, I keep that racism to myself. Okay. Why? I'm sorry. Uh, so the hospital... Now, I do believe that the person who's stealthiest is uh, Shooty Shooty Bobo Extraordinaire. Bobo 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 Bobo? <laughs> Bo, oh, that's Bo, right. Bo. It's an dun, anime. Dun, 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 I know. It's a I dumb anime. That. I've never seen it, but I've seen like ads for it in other manga. It's it super works. dumb. Anyway, uh, where would we like to go first? Is the question. Well, since we've been to the churches, uh, we don't. I don't know if really there's much. We could stop by the hospitals on the way to the museum. I think I want to go to the museum mm -hmm. because I don't think there's going to be much south of the city that we would want to yeah, see. Yeah, I don't think so either. Unless there's a secret stash in one of the prison camps. Oh or my God, in, in the embassies if they actually didn't have full time to get their vaults out. But that mm -hmm. also, the treasure there might be like 100 plus year old diplomatic secrets that are irrelevant now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, Museum. Uh, I vote for museum and probably stopping by hospital on the way there. Sure. Then we can go west to the goldsmiths and blacksmiths. Yes. All right. I like that plan. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Cloak of Elven Kind. I elect to... I guess I'll scout out on. ahead then. Okay. Because I'm still... Uh, shoot, shoot the lighty bow in the air if you are in real trouble. Oh, that's a good idea. It's a pretty good idea, yeah. yeah hey, meta wise, okay. how how bright is the? Uh, does I'm it light up a five foot square? Uh, I'm going to say it's something that you can, <clears throat> just to give you the the benefits of both having it both ways, it is light enough to see, uh, if you want it to be, like, you have control over its exact. Uh, oh, okay, sure. So if you want the bolts to be completely black, you just, you know, you paint your soul black and you be all edgy. <laughs> Edge Lord bird. <laughs> but otherwise, it's not like a a flash of lightning or something that lights up the whole uh, ruin. It's it's never going to be super bright. But it might be visible. Uh, all right. Uh, and, uh, huh. I guess I could technically do communal... Uh, I don't think getting this the other people mounts would be necessarily faster. Mm -hmm. Uh, how much? How much was that, Elvin? Is it's it plus, a plus five bonus. Plus five. Okay, I'll slap that on. There we go. So it is your stealth now? It's normally eight, so it's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Uh, okay. So, you guys have control of your, over your token, by the way. But, uh, or this giant skull, Glory Vold, you should have control. Yes. And, yes, good. Okay, so... Yeah, you jump into the river. <laughs> uh, I mean, we know the way north is clear, so we could just go back to the Grand Staircase and take a mm -hmm. ticker, right? Yeah. 
that works. Oh, oh my god. What? Jesus. <laughs> I forgot you could do that. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Uh, so how you do that, Ferocity, is that you you hold, you click it, and then where you move your, like while while holding it, you can kind of do a measurement. <laughs> and then you right click on places and it follows that's kind cool. of the waypoints you set Ooh. on your screen it just is where at the last <laughs> bit but what's for everybody else that's something interesting okay so okay I think... so frosty we travel the 25 feet it takes to get to the <laughs> god damn it uh, I think as a, yeah. you, you really don't need to worry about the scale. <laughs> but I can fix it. So at least one scale is five meters. Kilometers. kilometers. <laughs> it's a gigantic city. Zero point. Can I do zero point two kilometers each? Wow. I don't know if that's the scale either. But here you here we are. It's closer. It's to... It's a lot closer than feet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, it is. This is not a mock-up someone made in their extremely large basement. Oh, that's still not the right scale. Point is, uh, you make your way to the grand staircase, and as you do, uh, I think you're able to extract a bit more information from Symphony. Yep. Who is just, as they walk, playing softly and setting uh, uh, runes into the, the ground here, where it is not restored yet. Uh, like setting dwarven writings uh, under your path, so you just walk as you read. Uh, oh, so I'm just wondering, does it does it read? Does it put the sentence and then put the next? Like, does it stack sentences on top, like Star Wars esque reading? Or... <laughs> um, uh, you don't actually need to answer that kind of silly question. It puts the writing <laughs> on the ground. I think it goes sideways, so it's like one line reading left to right. Or it just okay. keeps on going. That, that's probably the best way to do it in this fashion. While we're still walking. Okay. Okay. So what so, information do we, we get from Symphony? I imagine you want to know more about Soulforge as they are? like. Yes. Okay. How, uh, how so, they are what their general opinions about the world are. It's up to you and Aneski, because I'm not with the group. Yes, if Nari's. they chemically have to catch process Nari. organics for energy, uh, not uh, that last one. But... They do not. Uh, <laughs> Symphony explains what they had interpreted from the little bit of time they spent by the Soul Forge reading the old notes of the people who created it and that sort of stuff. Uh, the Soul Forged are born able to speak. They're born fully sized. They're born smart and fast. But they're not completely blank canvases. Like, they, they are mostly blank canvases. They don't have memories or anything, but they are. They kind of have a, a bit of an imprint on them. And that imprint is from the thing that went into the Forge. Every creation, according to Dwarven culture, is a work of art. And that art's message shapes the soul. That is put into this thing. Uh, sort of like a person's childhood. So okay, like, so if someone put a message of anger or violence, the soul forged maid would be angry. Probably have violent. a temper, yes. Hmm. Uh, if you have like a... I don't think Symphony, know, Symphony knows what they used to be or where they are from. But they know some of the stories of the original Warforged, like uh, Rampart, the shield, or the, uh, uh, yeah, just Rampart. Uh, they were created by a great smith who made a shield to protect their child. Uh, ah. And that desire to protect and the unconditional love are both strong in Rampart. Uh, Kiln was built as a heavy forge, just created by desperate hands and many of, like, dozens of tough smiths. They are hard iron and have very little personality to it, just determination. Hmm. Uh, Sheer was a weapon to the core, was built with uh, sadism and hatred in mind, 
and it was a weapon from before the War with the Monarchy. It was built to slay giants. And then Lens was an extravagant periscope used by hunters. I could probably throw that on the social map, but... At any rate, uh, you get the those... That causes some level of who they are today. Hmm. What they used to be. And are there now uh, a lot more Soul Forged coming out? Uh, yes. So there were... Uh, Symphony seems conflated on the exact details, but there were either five or six original uh, that escaped during the First War, or during the War with the Monarchy, that returned and set the or started the forge up again and have been throwing as many items as they can into it, basically. No, oh, making an army. Building up an army. Yeah. Uh, oh, this would be a... Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, this would be a pretty cool faction if they succeeded and then just became the new dwarves of this region. Mm-hmm. Right? They consider themselves dwarves. They do. You know what I mean. <laughs> uh, especially because if a one of these things, or one of the uh, the Soulforge became a a smith and created new works of art, that would be like, and threw them into the forge. That is as close to having a kid as they come. <laughs> for, uh, for robots. Oh, and how much needs to be thrown in for a war for a Soulforge to come into existence? Uh, it needs to be something like, like you can throw in one sword, but it needs to be reasonably powerful or it's a very weak, small golem body. The soul is free based on the artistic interpretation. The body of the golem is based on the gold price. Yeah. That is the general, the, the more in story element of it or the more in game. The numerical mm -hmm. value of that. Hmm. Is meta-wise, I would love to see what a Yadathian influenced war. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh god, my. this new kid. It's just a giant mug of ale. <laughs> <laughs> what are the you odds? Could, you you could actually create the first permanently I could um, gee, I could put my mug forge. in there. What would happen? <laughs> oh no. You have to find out. I'm going to have to find out. <laughs> the do, master. Do we really want a child? Could could we raise a child, guys? <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the three of us just throw something in and it just comes out this intelligent drunk abomination. Can you put multiple <laughs> objects into the same uh, into one golem? I don't think so. Okay. Or Symphony does not think so. Okay. Uh, you're... <laughs> oh, man. Uh, at, but Symphony told you the last session that they were about a day and 12 hours old. So if you're worried about, you know, raising a kid, you kind of already have one right now. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. Uh, you make it... Uh, let's get back to... City map. Oh, I didn't move you to the social page. Sure I was didn't. like, well, I, I just went there myself. <laughs> bye bye, everyone else. Uh, right. So you get to the grand staircase, which is rebuilt, uh, and the path that you have been on this whole time going up is not. Uh, and likewise with the path going out to the, uh, what is that, the east? Yeah. This path is also not rebuilt at all. Uh, but you reach the corner of the hospital and you hear... Oh, I also huh? ask uh, Symphony if they're the only one rebuilding the city right now. Mm -hmm. uh, Symphony explains they aren't really rebuilding at this point. Uh, they were sent to the Church of Eurocrates with uh, uh, Sheer and Lens watching over. Those are the two. The, the Hunter and the Edgemaster, mm -hmm. I think is the titles they have. Uh, those two are the, uh, like, escorted them to the Church of Eurocrates to restore just that building, to focus on that. 
and uh, uh, they escaped? Like they ran away from those two? They explained that... Uh, let's see, what was it? Yes, uh, they brought Symphony there to uh, rebuild the god within the temple. This god is a device that channels positive or negative energy at great distances. And as metal people, they don't have a benefit from either. There are not many conclusions you can draw from that, and the one Symphony came to was not a good one. That they wanted to channel negative energy as a weapon? Mm-hmm. Got it. Nailed it. Well, it is unfortunate that I am still vulnerable to such things. Hmm. I will have to improve my body. (laughs) How? Hmm. If you have undead parts, then negative and positive... No, you don't heal from... No, that's... I don't know what you do. It becomes weird. But that, that is something for my character to think about. Okay. Uh... Let's see. Yeah, so you're on your way to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Uh, And also, you now note that Sheer and Lens are about in the city, whereas the others are still back by the Soul Forge. Uh, Let's see. Uh, I should modify this map just a bit, because you are doing good scouting and such. should have more distance. One sec. It's the problem with having paths in all directions is that sometimes you go once that I had less time to prepare. Oh god, you didn't prepare that many different paths, do you? Hmm? The poltergeist oh, that... disagrees with your preparing like 12 paths for us. Is that the supernatural? Uh, no, not like paths, paths, but different encounters all across the map. Gotcha, okay. I gotta move. Where's Okay. Alright, once one second. Almost How's how about that Super Bowl then, huh? No oh, clue. The, the party's <laughs> happening downstairs for me. Uh, I think it's uh, I think it's the Patriots versus the Rams, and that's about all yes, I know. Yes, and my mother wants the Patriots to win because she's been a Patriots fan for a long time. Well that's good. They'll probably win. Q three hours from now lost horribly. Yep. Yeah. Uh, they will be in the Twitch clip. Snakes makes bad predictions. <laughs> Don't worry. I made a bad prediction when I thought that I can provoke an attack of opportunity. It's not likely to be a critical. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it wasn't likely to be a critical, and I did have like twenty one AC. It just. Bad time. <sighs> Bad luck. Bad time. Uh, yeah. Well, you didn't die, so... Yeah, it Came real out. fucking close, but you didn't die. It's only because oh. I'm so tough and I'm, you know, partially immune to pickaxes to the head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's how vaccines work, right? You now take yeah. two less damage from pickaxes to the head. <laughs> What's the word? Inoculated? Yes. I'm inoculated. All right. I can now safely move you to this map. Ah! I could set this background to a darker color. What am I doing? Oh my goodness. They're pretty close. They're non-metallic dwarves. Yeah, right? What's even going on? Oh, I should probably Something ha- something's happening here. Are those Zambambos? Hmm? Zambamidos? Zombies. Well, I, I know, but... I don't know. they be zombies? Well, because they look like they're fleshy. <laughs> no, you know what? Fair. I can't argue with that. <laughs> it's like, well, they're not supposed to be here, so... Oh, my oh God, God she's, she's so there. big now! <laughs> the city becomes symphony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, so, if symphony ever goes through a, a teenage phase 
uh, will symphony become symphony of the night? Oh God! <laughs> Paints itself black. She's like, I'm brooding, and gets a cape. <laughs> All right. Builds a coffin to lay inside. Well, these three are on the map layer. What is even? Okay. Uh oh. Woo we? Here we go. Don't know who we're supposed to see for. Nope. But... We got all fixed. It's all, all right. fixed. Uh, the people in this hallway are doing a very bad job of hiding if they are trying to. Uh, you hear... Okay, let me scroll down to the page. Okay. Uh, it's a dwarf, you see. They don't seem to see you yet. Uh, a few Stop. other dwarves are standing around. Uh, he's staring at a golem... That is so immobilized by silt, it's basically just a talking statue. The golem says, Royal blood detected. What are your orders? Before, and then before the dwarf can get out more than one syllable, it interrupts. Aberration detected. Please stand by while the threat is eliminated. Only to go <laughs> back to asking for orders. After a moment, the dwarf turns around and says with a chuckle, well, At least it's not trying to kill us, right? Right. <laughs> So, I do apologize. Uh, greetings! I wave my my hand. Uh, can I stay to the side and stealthed for this? Actually, wait. Sure. How how much is the illumination? Because uh, illumination is zero, so technically you shouldn't be. I think they have a torch, maybe. Okay, Not so we can kind of see around them. Yeah, let's do it that way. Okay. Uh, actually, everyone roll perception. Oh, I, I think I, I have a roll. Perception is seven. Oof, I did. Mm. Ah, it's, it's fine. God. 19 is still pretty darn good. Oh, Alexandra can see. Whoa. Mm. The chances. Really okay, yeah. Two uh, of that is from the hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two extra eyes. It all adds up. Mm hmm. I'm not going to have mine, my familiar, try to do a perception check because it is blind sight 30 feet. <laughs> <laughs> it's too far. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, you can also hear a chittering of sorts, like an insect sort of situation going on uh, down this alley here huh. near the hospital. Uh, uh I, I do a, a small, like, huddle, and I go, I do believe it is uh, detecting me. So maybe speaking will be more nice with if I stay back a bit. Eh? Uh, Nari doesn't say anything because she's kind of, she's sticking to the wall. Uh, but she's not moving forward. I also forward. consider bringing out my... Uh, my sheet of lead to put between me and the golem because that would stop it from detecting me. Mm -hmm. oh, I never thought about that. It's kind of like, it's not meant to take any blows. It's literally, and it's not like I can eat lead. <laughs> I mean, I think I can, but I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Don't want to find out? You know, stretch your limits. See our true potential. <laughs> Ian, roll a fort say, fuck, I knew it was a bad idea. <laughs> you, could uh, have been the, you could have been <laughs> eating lead this whole time. <laughs> yes, my ring assassin's laced character needs to eat lead to survive. <laughs> um, okay. I, I guess, so. I don't think we're trying to be all that stealthy. Because we were hired by the dwarf team that initially unflooded the city to actually look mm -hmm. in it. Yep. Uh, it, do I see any insignia or something that would like say someone of house blank? Uh, if you were going on the descriptions of the, the, the person you're looking for and this person, then you're pretty sure this is the person you're looking for. The, uh, okay. the contract holder who hired you or one of the two. Well, uh, let us greet the quest giver. I pull out a sheet of lead and put it in between me and the golem and then go against the wall and I just kind of start approaching. Uh, Slowly. Frosty, would you allow me to move down here? 
with my, that stealth check? Uh, oh, your stealth? Yeah, go for it. All right. So Nari signals that she's going to stay where she is mm-hmm. and let uh, Volmar do the talking. Volmar okay. and Nesky. All right. Uh, Symphony is, by the way, kind of shy and the furthest back of anyone. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Uh, I peek my head out slightly from my, uh, actually, I have my familiar hold the sheet of lead. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, greetings! I have, like, a, a, a torch, an iron torch, like, f- actually, no, my iron weird has, activates its iron torch. That's ah. part of its body. Okay. And I give a wave and I say... Hello, uh, we were contracted adventurers. I presume you are, uh, Meadowwise, what is the name of... Oh, Wade Whitearch. I presume you are, uh, part of the Whitearch group. The, uh, the the dwarf that was talking earlier. I need to remember how to do a Scottish accent in a second. (laughs) Uh, says... Crap. You, they'll just talk without an accent, maybe. No uh, worries. They say, oh, hi there. Uh, yes, that's me. I'm a white arch. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, I, yeah, he, like, goes out over his pockets for a second and he pulls out a, a crumpled piece of paper that seems to be a, a contract, a copy of the one you're holding. Like the the original that that is a mm-hmm. copy of, yeah, it says like, yeah, ad- ad- adventurers. Wow, you're early. Uh, do we like to get here as soon as possible. That's uh, very professional. We are very professional. Okay, nice. Are you? Is there a reason you're hiding your face? I don't oh, uh, the... I I stick I stick my like claw a bit out into the light, and I go, the, some constructs do not like me. Ah, that's okay. Uh, If you come a bit closer, we can, we can chat and you can look at my face, huh? Okay, and by the way, the, uh, the ongoing royal blood detected and then aberration detected, that does not stop when you're, uh, when you block yourself with the sheet. Oh, (laughs) okay, then I, I take the sheet away, if it's not helping. Yeah. Uh, the uh, yeah, your dwarf seems to look just like a little bit cautious and begins to approach with the the two goons or just random. Yeah, henchmen. Henchmen, yeah, the un the unnamed guards. Guards, yeah. If you don't want us to have the like immediate opinion that they're probably up to no good. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, I do think should they have they, but, they have blind sight or uh, uh, dark, dark vision. vision. So at some point along here, they're going to see you. If uh, is there no de- debris or rubble or anything I can hide in or amongst or? Mm. Okay, this is the ruins of. I'm going to say the building below you has windows, and you can like duck. One into there. Sure. Like uh, through a what remains of a window. Absolutely. All right. It gives me partial so cover. And then roll stealth because you have your partial cover. You want me to roll it again? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, you already rolled real good. So, no, you're good. Okay. Uh, so, so uh, Wade continues. Uh, so, you're... Uh, it's like reading the contract as if for, for the first time, like, okay, you get to keep what you loot and, uh, okay, standard <laughs> stuff. Uh, all right. Do you want to, you want to do me a favor? Is that, I got a, I got a quest of sorts to give you here in the city. Oh, now uh, what might that be? Uh, I just need to make sure it's within the original scope of our contract. Oh, no, uh, I... Let's go to the map here. Uh, at the entrance to the Ancestor's Path, up, uh... So, around. 
I can move your thingy. They were now at this hospital. Uh, ah, okay. At the entrance to the Ancestors Pass, which is over here, in the uh, the we we lost some people. Uh, I think they're still alive in there, but we just we lost contact with them. And they have they have a bag of holding. Even if you can't find them and save them, they have a bag of holding that is real valuable to us specifically. Don't open it. Uh, and if you could recover that. Well, that'd be quite a favor. Okay, so you... Just so that I understand, there is a secondary team of... Is it led by a wide arch, or is it... Uh, no, you're going to be looking name. for... Uh, you're going to be looking for a dwarf like... Or, well, a duergar like... Kind of my, my height. Uh, and a, a goblin and a uh, and a drow. Quite the team you have there. Yeah, I mean we take the all we take all sorts here, which is good. So, mm -hmm. uh, Dwager, goblin, drow. Mm -hmm. So their team uh, lost with bags. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so they have a special bag of holding. How do I know which is which? Like, what does the bag look like so I can identify it? Uh, oh, it's got... Hmm. It's got a big underdark, uh, an undercommon marking on it. Okay. Uh, I get the description of whatever marking it's mm -hmm. supposed to be. And I say, and the ancestor's path is that oh, my? Oh, actually, uh, why don't you roll a knowledge? Uh, what would it be? Knowledge History? local. Local, okay. Yeah, you don't quite recognize it. Actually, plus okay. twelve. Damn. Uh, I think you get a sense that it is from a. It is not one of the. In the description. It's not one of the major undercommon or the major underdark factions. It's not Duergar, it's not Drow. Okay. It's not Serenable and it's not it's not one okay, that you've heard. So it, it it's it's kind of like one when you're looking at country flags and like, okay, Canada, US, UK, what's that? It's just three colors. Which one is that? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it could be in Europe, it could be in Africa, who knows? <laughs> Uh, uh, I am here with my companion, uh, Aneski. I kind of point, point downwards. And we have even befriended, uh, one of the golems going around. You befriended a golem? What? Yes. How does that uh, work? Did you not know that there are... Uh, if I say the word soulforge, what does that mean to you? Absolutely nothing. Well, you're going to be in for a big surprise, Mr. Royal Blood. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well, it appears like part of the city has a forge that is creating uh, golems. A golems, I can believe. Golems that can be friends with people. Yes. That is what we are investigating, is I want to make sure that golems that can be friends with people don't end up uh, in situations where people get shanked, yes? That's a very good call, yeah, I think. I, I prefer my employer to be alive, I prefer to be alive, and golems, friendly golems, probably prefer existence. Yeah, ain't that, ain't that the truth. You, uh... You be careful around that thing, eh? Oh. I'll like, be fine. For a dwarf, they show a extreme amount of concern for a, an aberration and a distrust of a construct. 
the, the situation would normally be kind of reversed for a, a dwarf, you would suspect. For <laughs> I, most cultures. I don't think but... I have to do a sense motive not to trust him. But, <laughs> but he's done nothing aggressive yet, so. <laughs> okay. Uh, Symphony-like waves from the distance, kind of. It's it's pitch black, and that's beyond their... Uh... Yes, it is. <laughs> I kind of motioned to Symphony to maybe, like... And an Eski to move up, maybe, too. Yeah. Okay, Symphony comes a bit closer and, like, makes a little statue of them <laughs> in the middle of the road. Like a it bobblehead is a or something. It is a friendly repairing uh, golem. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to use words that uh, are less likely to produce freakouts. Like, <laughs> okay. Soul Forged would create a freakout. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I mean, there was a gigantic war in which the dwarves and... what? Okay, so Frosty, help remind me. It was... So the, uh, the Durgar and Aberrations uh, had a lot of conflict fairly recently. Not like no, well, but like what about that, the, the one where it was the war over AIs? Oh, yes. Uh, so the dwarves came up with AIs, the monarchy uh, came in and basically blew up the place. Or flooded okay. it with water, as it were. Uh, okay, so would... Do I know if culturally modern dwarves distrust they are, AI? Uh, they are very much like... Uh, this one at least, they are very much monarchist in nature. They are not okay. like they, they are not very dwarven at all. Really. <laughs> okay, Mo most of the pro-AI dwarves probably died. Mm -hmm. Or were driven out. Mm -hmm. Okay, well I say uh, I just go to so uh, I just sort of step beside uh, Symphony and I go uh, the, these these men might not uh fully appreciate your writing skills so oh, write to us when they're gone hmm? when they're gone oh when they've moved on just don't write while they're around us huh oh okay yeah yeah i got you <laughs> it it gives you a or they give you a hearty nod okay I, just uh, I think in this amount of time with them, they have started to understand when you are speaking to them, not necessarily ready to speak to you, because they still would speak too fast, but... Yes. They're starting but to they get, can they do, to... like, gestures. Yes, and they're getting the patience to, like, hear your entire <laughs> sentence and, like, uh, I do ask, uh, I'm hearing some chittering from around the corner. Uh, don't... Yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's just the water's dripping weird. That's all that is. Gonna make another perception check if I'm. I'm if gonna can. make a sense. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. You know what? Sense but I'm motive not first. good at that. Uh... So can other people also make sense motives? Uh... Oh, because he might be royal blood and aberration. This might not be a real dwarf at all. Right. <laughs> Everyone's He's a right. bug man. <laughs> oh man, that would be. So, what does my sense motive tell me about what he just said? Okay, uh, he is both not sure whether he needs to lie, and also he is lying. Like he's Ooh. sort of halfway to being like, I kind of own, I kind of am these people's boss, so I'll just like tell them all that's going on. Or nah, nah, that's a bad idea. Hmm. And they, they... See, I want to. I need to come to grips with what I would do and what Nari would do. Mm -hmm. And what would Nari do? Nari wants to fill him with arrows. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because this is a life and death situation. Every time they come across a a living thing, mm -hmm. and she does, she's not trusting this motherfucker at all. <laughs> So, uh, she'll wait for a moment. Yeah. But she's, yeah. she's ready. Okay. I appreciate that. That is, I think you will get, if combat 
shows up, you'll get a initiative bonus or something based on that. Okay. <laughs> that. You're just you're just ready to, like, or you have a ready to action action with it. Yeah, there. yeah. You'll you have there. a ready to action. Uh, so I, uh, I, I guess I just go. So, um, you know, the I don't think water quite sounds like that. Uh, maybe if, uh, hmm, just trying to like, can I do what kind? Actually, all my knowledges are pretty much twelve, except for Arcana and religion. So. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to just do a knowledge check of, like, what does make sounds like that? Um, okay, I'll tell you. It sounds... Uh, uh that's 12. Uh, add, add four if it's religion or uh, if it's undead or magical. For everything else, like local aberrations, what yeah. have you. So uh, you are now. quite sure it's an aberration, as you have uh, much more experience with those, but you're not quite sure about quite what sure which one. It's like on the tip of your tongue. Huh. Uh, that sounds mightily like another aberration. Uh, I just say that out loud as a way of trying to provoke, like, uh... A way less than is like, oh... You think so, eh? That that would explain the robot, huh? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just I, I, I cock my I talk I cock my head, and they go. How long have you been down here? <laughs> uh, they like. <laughs> they do a bit of math on their fingers and say, uh, to. Uh, two days. Okay, we we got that message way before two days. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you did. <laughs> so, this guy should have been in here if he was actually. Yeah, this guy's not legit. <laughs> uh, Nari is probably going to attack now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's up to you whether I get a standard or a full. Uh, do a, a standard and oh, then Oh, so it's check. quite possible. So, because Nari knows that combat is coming, and everyone uh, oh, else well, actually, is... actually, if you are starting combat, then that is a surprise round. That's, she gets the surprise round. Oh, okay. Great. Okay. So, I'm just highly suspicious, but Nari probably hearing me go, Wait a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's wrong. I... <laughs> Uh, da, da, da. uh, I'm missing something. She, uh, the, who are you shooting? The guards or the main dude? Uh, I'm gonna hit the main dude to be honest. Uh, mm -hmm. he would if he does not notice Nari. Oh, and he hasn't acted because this is the surprise round. He does. Yeah, he, so he has like an AC of flat-footed, right. flat-footed, and then at minus four because you are not visible to him. I believe is how it After goes. After the first arrow, technically they are. That's weird. Mm -hmm. But they're still all flat-footed for all attacks on the first round. Oh, they... oh, okay. Uh, uh, like, and they're actually flat-footed until they act in the first round. Same mm -hmm. with everyone. Everyone starts combat flat-footed until they act. Okay, so, ooh, not starting out strong. Uh, yeah, those are both hit. They're <laughs> flat-footed. <laughs> Great. Uh, <laughs> hey, I am totally not suspicious. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, um, okay, my... I'm gonna find. Uh, is it called the thing, or is it? Yeah. Okay, this I'm guy not, might. I'm be not doing gravity it. bow. Oh wait, no, we we're gonna get a couple wrists. I will do gravity bow. Uh, so I'm just gonna uh, so ignore what did I just can't, did. Uh, so that's do the you actual spend your damage. surprise round? Because hmm? I can do gravity bow with the swift and then the full. Ah, okay. Oh yeah. Wait, can I do it with the swift? Uh, uh, I don't know. Normally, it, it would be fair to say if you're expecting combat, you might have used it. Yeah. So I'm okay with that. Okay. 
Uh, okay, you also uh, roll two. Fuck. Is this a fort or a will? Uh, it doesn't matter. They slump down dead. Oh. Yeah, you hit them pretty fucking good. Oh, okay. And they are not a higher level than you, these uh, adventurers. They called you in for a good reason. All right. Well, that's, that's, that's my turn. That's my first turn. Okay. Uh, can I... I guess we roll initiative. initiative or... Yeah, I need to... Okay. I'm... Hey, I Excuse like an initiative, initiative rolls. Thoughts. Now, if oh, I boy. really liked initiative rolls, I could have buffed mine more, but you hmm. know what? I'm wondering if the one that was talking was not the royal blood. Hmm. Hey! Oh, I turned to Aneski. You might be royal blood. That's just a <laughs> 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 uh, Okay. The hedgehogs uh, I actually me. don't know if uh, my people have ever had royalty. <laughs> just start thinking about that. <laughs> Well, let's take a turn standing exactly, in front of it. Which explains why I'm going at 10 in the initiative. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you got... Oh, dang, you got a... All the initiatives are pretty low, except for the one. Uh, let's do 11. Nari. Uh, Ian, you have higher initiative, or higher decks than Neski, right? Uh, I... I remember Vomar being a bit of a flip wizard. Uh, yes, actually, I do have 16 decks and she has 12. So I have hired decks. So if uh, I die with an ASCII, I. Uh... And yeah, let me do. Uh, and these are. Uh, Okay. Uh, so the skittering in the the quarter to the side stops, yeah, and <laughs> stops as the sounds of combat erupt. Uh, let's see, what is their speed? Speed forty. Okay, that's good. Uh, so, uh, bringing up the flanks now, our three, you still, it's, Ian, it is frustratingly super familiar to you what these things are, but you just can't place it right now. They're just big old insects with, like, whiskers. They're mm. having just the hardest time figuring out what they are. Uh, this might be from my little expedition in this uh, ice pick era. I knew you in the <laughs> ice pick era. <laughs> <laughs> which, which admittedly, metal ice sounds pretty bad. <laughs> Are you from the ice pick era? <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, that is their turn. Uh, it is now Nari's turn again. Oh shit! I was just starting to look up how that worked. Uh, pew pew pew. Well, pew, pew, pew. I guess I'll just keep down in what uh, look like dwarves. <laughs> so you aren't real. <laughs> so I'll go for. Um... Actually, your character wouldn't care if they were real dwarves or not. No. Uh, I'll go for this one down here. Oh, those are better. I'm assuming those hit. Oh, they're flat-footed anyway. Oh, oh yeah. Those totally fucking hit. 20 damage. Okay. First one kills someone. Second one... Or, or are you doing... Oh, that's times two. Uh, I think you are... So it's 20 damage. 10 damage each. What? Uh, you're doing 10 damage each per shot, because you're probably going to kill. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Both drop dead. Oh fuck yeah! <laughs> it's like a video game now. You just, 
I'm just, you just I'm, open fire and <laughs> all of them are gone. All the dwarves are gone. Flip, flip, flip. flip it full, is flip. now Vomar's turn. Vomar is going to go next to the uh, symphony and say, Retreat for a bit, symphony. We will deal with these threats. Okay. Symphony's going to take that turn and go about this far and then put up a, a brick old wall. Or actually, uh, maybe like three quarters cover, have like an arrow slit they can look out of to know when how things are hey, going. Yeah, I don't want I don't want it to be threatened. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to let's see. Do I actually want to any, spend any spells on this encounter? We're doing pretty well so far. Oh yeah, and this thing is not alive. It is encased in a wall. Another thing up. Uh, this, yeah. This, this thing is... over here. Yeah, let me... <laughs> that. Oh, this this represents <laughs> that it is its eyes are visible through the wall, but everything else is not. <laughs> Spooky. I'm going to pull... Uh, as part of my move action back, I pull out my light crossbow. There you go. Okay. Take a pot shot. And I'm going to take a pot shot at, uh, I'm going to say, uh, this top one. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, not a critical film. <laughs> yeah. You're fine. Just punk. Oh. You hit the one that was already dead. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I moved back uh, and I fired my crossbow. Uh, as the sounds <laughs> the of chaos lines. have erupted, another party has entered the match. A uh, approaches. You hear the sounds of uh, of dwarven speech. Uh, not in the uh, uh, like synthesized dwarven speech, and emerging from the rooftops drops down a uh, well an edgy figure <laughs> Batman who lands right in the center of you all making quite an entrance and saying uh, what's the most edgy line I can think of hmm. you were dead the moment you decided to attack symphony <laughs> 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 you will return symphony at once or you will be destroyed oh. <laughs> is it saying it to us or the bugs it's saying it to the room it is saying it to everything <laughs> but symphony let me see if I can find the correct music for this <laughs> megalovania uh, no 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 <laughs> this person it's is not, we are, that's, for the, that's for the not rape boss okay mm -hmm. this is uh Definitely Something not. Like this is definitely not the Naruto theme song. Because they're sure. definitely not a ninja. <laughs> okay. Uh, Aneski, all you. Okay, uh, I guess... Do I want to attack the... the don't attack the edge... Lo <laughs> Sorry. Uh, don't <laughs> attack the new soul forge. Focus only on the aberrations. Huh? Okay, sweet. Um... <laughs> We're trying to be friends with Soul Forged. Okay, uh, I guess I'm raging now. <laughs> yes, Paul is screaming, and I will charge. Now, remember, you actually have a 15 foot reach while raging. Okay. So you actually only need to move 45 feet. Oh, and then I can get both of them. Yeah, that's a good idea. And then you'll get attacks of opportunity as they walk toward you. Oh, yeah. boy. Uh, action economy sure. awesome alright so I will hit this guy first okay. uh, you only get one attack on a charge yeah Yep. go for it alright It should be with a heft. Yeah. Oh, oh. 
Nice. Okay, Big yeah, hit. that hits. That does hit. Uh, if sadly, you roll the zero, you would hit. You, your Bardish is an 18 to 20. It's only 19 to 20 crit threat range. For now. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that thing's dead. <laughs> Not quite, but you do just... It is, uh... It, like, there's a little bit of a hole in the ground where you've, like, crumpled it down. <laughs> it's like legs are sprawled up, its body is into the ground a bit. But it is still squirming just a little bit. Uh, let's see. The Mook Dwarves. Oh, no, they're dead. I don't... <laughs> Yep, you don't need them in initiative. Surprise round. Let me... <laughs> so, is... I eventually now need to get a ring of invisibility so she could just be like, Surprise! Motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> God, me... Flight or invisibility? I have to decide on one. Both. Okay. Shift oh, enter so I can add... Sheer. And I can take my Mook Dwarves out of here. Uh, now I gotta press that. There we go. Okay. Uh, it is now the turn for this thing, the the last thing in that corridor, which comes. Uh, how fast is it? Uh, okay. Speed is forty feet as well, and this one isn't as afraid as the others. This is just doing a full. M move action towards I don't know, just generally going forwards. Ah. The much bigger version of the same thing goes charging by. <laughs> uh, and the minute it goes charging by uh, no, actually edge wa the edge walker. Then yeah, depending on his uh, his personality. It's going to go his or her personality, I might have to call him the Edge Wanker. <laughs> okay, it's going to to bring up the uh, uh, defend its its kin here. Attack of opportunity. Uh, you get an attack of opportunity as it charges. Yeah, hit it. Yes. This is where I want you to roll a twenty and then just like. <laughs> 50 plus damage. Oh, wouldn't that be fun? But One punch. That's not gonna happen. Okay. Okay, that hits. Oh. Still, that's good damage. Yeah, <laughs> Your minimum well. damage is 18 per swing. I don't think you need to be too disappointed by damage. It, it's more along okay. the lines if I see a 1 and I just feel. Okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm going to explain that but that uh, one damage in a way that it's going to should be very nice for you. Okay. It, you hit it, your hand sort of slips just a bit, not enough to stop you from whacking it, but you hit it with the wood part of your your halberd, <laughs> like a little bit backwards or a little bit on the side instead. <laughs> God, uh, how strong is your Bardiche to actually survive being swung around with 30 strength? <laughs> It's magic, don't I'm gonna question it. I'm going to have to get it. you an adamantine weapon just so that it survives your strength. <laughs> okay, and as you pull it back, you've hit it with sort of the back of the blade. And some of the metal that keeps this thing onto your the, the wooden haft uh, just kind of is gone. Oh, no. You they're, still do the damage, but... They're acidic. Oh! You have a quarterstaff now. Fucker, I made that. <laughs> you can still fix it. Don't worry. I'm not. I'm not that much of a dick. Uh, Meta-wise, I know what these are. In character, yeah. I might not. I said it's on the. It's on the tip of your tongue, and yeah, you're about to get it. By but I recommend you don't announce. I'm not going to say anything. Okay. Uh, let's see. Back to the top. Uh, the little rust monsters. Uh. One is running away now. It's going to get basically to the edge of the screen, going backwards. It's... <laughs> Moonwalk it. Yep. Uh, if that is disengaging, it is not taking an attack of opportunity, but only goes eight. Which is... Yeah, there. Uh, this one goes after... Uh, 
Yeah, this one goes after Sheer. This one goes after Nari a bit. All right. And that's... Let me roll some attacks, actually. Let's play the video game. That's what I'll do. I don't have my magic... I don't have my mage armor on. Oh, no. Oh, no. But you do actually have cover from the one. That's true. The oh, hey. I'm the second one, right? Confirmed. Oh, okay. That is not confirmed, I don't think. And the second one doesn't hit either. Sick. Hey. So, you are... Uh, you get hit. Or no, uh, let me clarify. Sheer gets hit. You are fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Sheer takes... Doo, 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 doo. But Sheer's made of metal. Sheer yeah, metal. funny thing about that. Yeah, okay. Sheer takes 13 damage. Sheer's unhappy with this. Uh, it is now... Da, 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 da. Uh, Nari's turn. All right. I'm going to shoot the one right next to me. Okay. Uh, one hits. God damn. Ten Rip damage. Snark. Ten damage. That is not, nothing to scoff at. But it is still up and up and at you. I need my uh, buffs. <laughs> Vomar, all you. Uh... I am going to cast haste. Uh, let's see. I'm going to take a five foot step. Cast haste on uh, Edgelurk Midge yeah. McEdgerson. And uh, everyone gets haste. Awesome. <laughs> let's see. What what resource do I spend for the, for the haste? Do I do... Uh... My dispel magic has been changed into a haste. Okay. Okay. Uh, and I am then going to have my... Nah. Uh, that's pretty much my turn. But haste is great. So. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, it is Sheer's turn. Sheer jumps... Oh, is it Nari's? No, it, nope, is I just it Anesky's turn? Uh, Sheer goes between you and Anesky. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, that's it's not a, originally that's a crowded that was... little place. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Shear just jumps over the the rust monster and... No, no, that's not the right roll. Uh, no, it does not get hit by that. Uh, Aneski, you can roll attack of opportunity as they come towards nice. you. Oh, on Edgelord? On Edgelord. Do I want... Wait, do I want to attack him? No. Probably not. I mean, he seems to be coming at you. Oh, was he <laughs> being aggressive towards her? Uh, he was being aggressive towards the whole the, everything but Symphony. It's up to you. I don't. It's up to you. Uh, uh, I'm trying not. I mean, I hasted him, so. Yeah. Um. Hmm. I feel like I'm going to regret this, but I will. Not take the attack. Okay. Just, like, move move your pole to see, like, oh, I would have hit you. Oh, divert. <laughs> so, it is going to... Yeah, it goes past you just a bit, uh, noticing the stalemate. And buries it. It's sort of got... Uh, Sheer sort of has, like, a sword for an arm and a claw for an offhand. So they are a natural dual wielder. Uh, they plunge the sword into the the large monster here, and Ian, you remember what you're looking at here. This is a rust monster, or in the case of the really big one, a rust lord. And have you all seen Infinity War? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, this shear gets snapped. They, where they once were, over the course of a quarter of a second, they just turn into a pile of, of little rust flakes that are floating in the wind. Oh, God. <laughs> They're gone. Oh, no. I don't feel so good. And there is just a... 
the closest thing to a scream you could imagine from uh, Symphony, who was watching. Oh no! Man, he committed suicide pretty hard there. Yeah, he, uh... I was not expecting you guys to... to not attack. <laughs> they were going to do, like, a full attack in all directions. And then one of them would hit this thing, and they would explode. But <laughs> well, you'll never know how much damage they did with sneak attack. Well, he still did damage to the the enemy, right? Mm hmm. So that's good. Yes, I suppose so. Well, we're uh, trying to show that. Symphony that we're like not against his robo friends. Yeah, yo. You'll never know that if you hit him uh, once per day, he can just uh, use a stealth check to not get hit, and you'll just hit something else, and he'll instant transmission with the Fucking sound effect and all. God damn it! I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll never know. We'll never know. Then it turns out to be a log and not him. Exactly. His ninja way. Uh, Aneski, it is your turn. Uh, yeah. And you're hasted. Yeah. And you're hasted. Hasted, and you oh, have no, a quarter staff. So... Like the rust monster. So... Now, on the positive side, what the quarter staff really does. Mm -hmm. is you can roll your attacks like normal. Okay. But when you do damage, it's 1d6 plus 17 instead of 1d10 plus 17. Okay. And it's a you have to roll 20 to do a critical. So it's not as good. No, it's a bit of a, a down step. But... but to be honest, you do more damage than your weapon does. You, you could punch more damage than most weapons do by themselves. Yeah, it's still a two-handed weapon. Uh, you also, also get two attacks because you're hasted. Okay. Yes. Hit destroy. Uh, we're trying. We're doing, we're doing pretty good. Yeah, you are. Uh, Try to say hit. Uh, I guess roll one d six plus seventeen twice. <laughs> this is just fucking okay. jam a wooden stick. To Damn, forty four damage. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is this why is... haste is my superpower. That's right. <laughs> this thing looks bloody. This thing looks ready to die. And a... Uh, as it's dying, a voice begins to to boom in your head. It says... Please preserve this one. They're the last of their kind. And we need them for the war to come. So does only Ineski hear that, or do all of us? Uh, all of you hear similar messages to that. Different voices, different wordings, but similar messages. I'm trying messages. to figure out who, who just spoke in my head. Yeah. Uh, and the rust monster, the rust lord in front of you, takes its turn to bow down and show, like... Submission? Submission, yes. You have won. Remix oh. to submission. Hot and fresh out the kitchen. So, is combat over? Uh, up to you. The rust monsters that are out right now, they begin to retreat. If you allow them, like, to, to group together and get away from direct attack. Hmm. And, uh... It is up to you what to do. I just heard a weird voice in my head. I did as well. I it's really... asking me not to kill the rest, Lord. I don't know if I really trust that. Uh, it's also talking about war to come. Uh, voice, could you identify yourself? I just say out loud because evidently it can, it can talk to us when it wants to. Mm -hmm. Uh, the uh, the Wade's body. Uh, something like as it's slumped on the floor, its head sort of turns to the side, so it's not face down anymore. It's like face to the side, mm -hmm. and little claws start to poke out of it and then something starts to come out of it and grow as it does and a medium sized like the, the size of a person almost a brain with legs crawls out of the head of I want Wade. to know what that is <laughs> that's an intellect devourer oh boy <laughs> that isn't it also uh, so you know with your roll about 
uh, rust monsters, now that you have identified them, you also know that they are completely insatiable under normal circumstances, and so the idea that any would back down or not immediately attack something made of metal is kind of unheard of. There have been countless civilizations that have tried to do that and unsucceeded. But if they're intellect devourers, that makes a bit of sense, doesn't it? Uh... Yeah, that thing is, uh, dangerous. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, I really don't trust this now. Uh, that is a, uh, don't let it burrow into your head. <laughs> so shoot it now. Or... <laughs> like, the voice no comes out again. Do not shoot it now. And more come out of the, the mouths of the other two dwarves. Yeah, I don't, oh, I don't know about this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Meta-wise, uh, these might be hard to kill. <laughs> these uh, might be... This is like uh, an encounter where just like we ripped off the old man Henderson. <laughs> we ripped off the mask and thought we were going to get old man Henderson and it's actually a fucking ghost. <laughs> no, you, whipped, you ripped off the, ma the mask of a ghost and underneath was like a blood skeleton or something <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's, like, mm, it's a bone will skeleton the mask back on surprise motherfuckers <laughs> the... I, I sort of I, I just go if you want peace explain why you are here please we came here following in the footsteps. Uh, we came here to hide from the Duerga, and because there is something here we need. And Plus, we have what? Rust Lord, so the only defenses of the city should be quite frail to us indeed. Uh, we we came up through the Ancestors' Pass when we saw the the water stopped flowing. Ah, you're scavengers. Of I assume you have sufficiently killed the person who gave us the original quest. No. We found these bodies. You do not sense kill those motive. who don't kill us. <laughs> yeah, roll sense motive. <laughs> Everyone, please yeah. join me in my suspicion. <laughs> because I'm not good at discerning. <laughs> Okay, I think with a roll of three, you have absolutely no trust. Like, sense motive is not only for you to sense it's, truth, it's but also... It's what my for... hunch is, yeah. Yeah. So, while Nari is, uh, like, they would have to be an extremely good liar, or this is the truth, Ian is like, I got no fucking idea, I'm going with my hunch. <laughs> and Alexandra's somewhere in between. It, it's not lying, but I don't trust it. It's a it's a brain. It's kind of it's kind of fucking weird. <laughs> I wasn't always this way. This is what the Duergar did to me. Oh. oh. What what are you trying to are you trying to become permanently embodied? No, I this form is perfect for the vengeance I seek. Oh. Uh, who are you trying to evangelize? Knowing that My... that is not a word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just trying to diffuse the situation with some some nice uh, made-up words. Uh, they say... Uh, uh, they, they say, there once was a people, the mongrel men. They were... Oh, they I were peaceful. knew the mongrel men. New in the past tense, they're all gone. Yes. They are all gone. I was the only defender of my people. We were not warriors. And I failed them, and I came back again. And now look at me. So, you're trying to kill the Dwegar? I've been trying to fix them, trying to save them from their own ways. Meta-wise, that bit. sounds awfully like kill. <laughs> 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 I, 
I'm trying to say I'm trying to save you from your own culture. Why don't you let me destroy your own culture? <laughs> Uh, oh. This this is where I'm kind of looking at the others, and uh, so what does that have to do with uh, the rust monster? Hmm? The two are cowards. They hide behind golems to do the work that they approve, but are too cowardly to do themselves. They they will wipe out all of aberration kind, all monstrous humanoids, anything that they deem unacceptable. And they won't even do it in person. An adamantine golem broke into the into my home and destroyed everything there. And they they didn't do anything about it. They just when, when was this released it? What, when this was, was this was about thirty years ago. Oh, well, I don't I don't know if these guys here are a part of that. No, they're definitely not. I, I'm here to claim some stuff that I'll, I need in the cops. I don't just hurt any of these people. What are you I just found the body. In particular? There's... Uh, I had... I had a, a, a friend who... We, we found about... Uh, we were always on the surface, because that was where the Duragar feared to go. I had a friend, and we... We went to the... Uh, we went searching for relics to sell or change to, to use against the Duragar. And... One of them was a, uh, as an item from a group called the Grandmothers of the Apocalypse. They were, this was during the, the beginning of the quiet, it was 4,000 years ago. Uh, these items were, that is when they date back to. Uh, we, we died, or they died, trying to get this item, and I lived, because I am what I am. Uh... And I know that there is another one in the city. And if I can figure out what they were trying to make with that, then maybe, maybe I have another chance at defeating my enemy. This seems, <clears throat> this seems a little out of our pay grade. <laughs> uh Yes, I do think that this is out of our progress. So where are you looking so we can make sure that we are not uh, interfering with your long quest of vengeance? It's in the museum. We it's we we lost some people trying to get it and we need it now more than ever as our only bodies that that kept us safe from the golems are in that bag that is over there that we lost with our, our companions. Hey, uh, meta-wise, how do we feel about having some intellect devourer friends? <laughs> oh. Uh, I, they can come in handy, I guess. Uh, you, you do know that, like, end game last session we're like we need to infiltrate the evil guy's lair and we're just gonna be like wait a moment we have a favor from a gang of <laughs> I'm, I'm always about gathering allies <laughs> and we're not exactly a, we're a motley crew as it is so <laughs> can't really be judging uh I'm gonna go over to symphony <laughs> and ask it actually what it felt about uh can we save or repair the, oh, the golem no. that just came through uh sheer is sheer is very gone but uh from what symphony had told you earlier sheer was one of the least like uh probably one of the meanest of the bunch the most violent so I don't know if you have to feel entirely terrible about that. Okay, I just want to make sure. I asked Symphony's opinion on if it understands what intellect devourers are. Uh, I don't think it has any knowledge in that field. Okay. It is good with dwarven history and the history of the or the workings of the Soul Forge. Not much else. Fair enough. Meta-wise, I think we're. I think we can. 
uh, make quest. a deal and not mess everything up. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, if you give, why don't we do a small little break? Mm -hmm. I have. I'm told that the ribs are being served. Ooh. Okay. And I'll be back in like a few minutes. But my vote is for intellect devour. Devour. What's the worst that could happen? Oh God, my brain. Uh, <laughs> actually, I need to. Pre oh, I'm gonna spend a minute and cast prepare uh, protection against evil on people, and that stops yes. them from burrowing into your head. Oh, good. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Problem quick. solved. Quick break. Be right back. All right.
back. I had to feed the cat. I risk getting attacked. I am back. Welcome back. The stream got to see uh, a lot of garbage text be put into the chat box because cat stepped on my keyboard. Oh, nice. I had to go feed my cat. Or else you would have heard her screaming in <laughs> the background. Nice. Screaming cats and ghost dads. Perfect. <laughs> the best. I am back, but I am also with food. I have food as well, so. I have nothing. As football games go, the Super Bowl is currently 3-0. Oh, who's winning? Which is very low. New England. The Patriots. So, uh, how do we feel about our... Uh... Our deals with intellect devout. We can we can go for it. I'm okay with it. I mean, it'll make things interesting later on. Yeah. You never say no to a side quest. <laughs> Here's a side quest. Kill yourself. Well, it is a side quest. Hey, it, you know what? It might lead to better things. Hey Frosty, can you scrap your campaign <laughs> so we can just go on a trip through the underworld? Yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks. No, no, we'll go to that Valhalla world again. Oh yeah, that he was is fun. We'll just It start. is probably my one of my favorite planes of existence. That's a pretty good place. <laughs> like you get auto rest every day. Whatever happened to those screaming troll heads? We take they them? kept screaming. Oh. <laughs> we just put them in a bag of holding, and I think <laughs> you buried them somewhere eventually. <laughs> We're good people. <laughs> was one of the least paladin-y paladins. Yes. Yes, he was. He had the crusade against evil down. <laughs> it's on the helping the weak. So, Alexandra, are you still okay with the uh, with what we've talked about on your sloth character? I'm very excited for it. It's gonna be fun. I think we still need to show Chelsea that Tear Zoo Sloth video. You do, you do. Maybe she'll think it's less of a dumb idea when she sees it. <laughs> Mega Sloths are pretty badass. <laughs> they're they're surprisingly S tier. Is she uh, not a fan of my sloth? Well, at first it's like, oh, you want just a really big sloth? Uh, okay. But then I saw the video, I'm like, wow, they were badasses. <laughs> they were apex predators of their era. That's This is a different story all of a sudden. It's based on science. So... Snake, mm -hmm. being a detective character, mm -hmm. or a private eye, would you also tr be one of the people in the city trying to keep the masquerade up, like hiding magic from mortals? Mm. 
I don't know, to be honest. He's probably there for a a case. I think he's probably more focused on catching criminals than upholding the masquerade. Like Fair he wouldn't enough. he wouldn't blatantly violate it because he knows there's problems with that, but like he'll do what needs to be done. <laughs> oh boy. I expect Ian you'd be able to describe what we're building better. I'm edgy. Hmm. <laughs> Tell, uh, tell Snake our premise. Moment. Oh. He's I have been ribs. that entire fucking time. Wow. <laughs> wow we Frosty. just thought you were away. Yeah. No, whoops. I was like, huh, they're doing a lot of off-topic stuff right now. That's okay, though. <laughs> and also, they sure seem to interrupt me a lot. That's a little bit rude. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of wondering where you I'll were. say, Frosty, you seem to be muted about every five minutes. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'll appreciate that. Uh, what I was going to say was I really enjoyed the uh, one particular part of it, which is that uh, if Snake and Chelsea's characters were involved in a car crash and probably aren't too big a fan of cars, and my character isn't a big fan of cars, then our driver will be the sloth person. Huh. <laughs> And either way that goes, whether you're a terrible slow driver or a really fast, really, like, dangerous driver, that's hilarious. No matter what. And that's all I had to say on that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, so... On to... Uh, I go to the intellect devourer. Uh-huh. And I say, We will help you find the bodies if you stop trying to kill the guardians of this city because I do not believe these guardians hurt your people no the the point was that we could loot this place I'm still trying to get up enough gold for some magic items and, and trying to revive my friend again and you know yes but uh you see I some of the golems around here are sentient yeah, you said that earlier, and that's... And so that's I'm trying thought. to not be on bad side of Sandy and Golem, eh? Yeah, <laughs> I could see that. I don't... And so I'm trying to prevent... Okay, okay. A little conflict. I... Can you just... Again, this person... They, they only have telekinesis, no actual voice, by the way. Or not yeah. telekinesis, tele telepathy. Mm -hmm. they are... So they are saying to you and you alone... We cannot let this fall into the hands of the Duergar. If these are sentient golems, they cannot... The, the Duergar cannot get these, okay? Agreed. I do not like the Duergar. I can... I vaguely remember I might have done something bad to the Duergar. We all did. I shrug. <laughs> and... Uh, you were just I go... Don't ever be ashamed, but you're doing your part. <laughs> I did my duty. <laughs> I did my part. I did my part, Squish. I did my part. <laughs> uh, all I all I do is I say, well then, I will work to make sure these are never never fall in the hands of those who should not be using them. And you work on uh, on destroying that golem that destroyed your city. Yeah? I'm gonna destroy a lot more than that golem. Metawise, are we the baddies <laughs> helping <laughs> terrorists? Ah, uh, hmm. Do, do, do I get a kind of at? They're actually xenophobic, like genocidal assholes. You did <laughs> well. I don't know what my character did. Thank you. No, no, no. I mean, you know, I don't know if I don't think you know their their exact methods at this point, but you have some idea from the uh, the uh, the previous encounter, the dwarves, quote unquote, all topside with their completely dwarven machinery and their 
that they dwarf in tattoos and they're completely not Duergar or anything. Anywho. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, I need a freaking token for... So, I effectively, token. I'm helping the aberration-based terrorist group sell. Seems mm -hmm. like it. Okay. I mean, it's enough, on, I'm aberration-based, yeah. so... It's in your self-interest. Uh, let me find... Hey, as long as you get something out of this. Mm -hmm. I will mention, you know that Duvergar have been better about it in recent history. Like, you can get a day pass and go through a Duergar city with your aberrationness, as long as you have a non-aberration like, guard around you. Yeah, but I also know that society, I've seen enough in societies to know that that's the swing back into genocide is not that far away. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that is 100% fair. Let's... It's kind of like, they aren't killing you today, but here, where's this symbol so that people know you're an aberration? God. <laughs> it's more so that all the automated defenses don't kill you, because they didn't change that, that feature on them. They just give you oh, a little Oh, so point. they just one day say, hey, that symbol doesn't mean anything anymore. Basically. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's, let's fucking, let's help them. Uh, let me... So... I hold a small, I just say like th a sentence worth of eulogy for Edge Master Edge Lord. <laughs> sure. Perfect. Uh, sort of say, he died as he lived, angry. <laughs> and uh, also charging into a rest monster. That was part of how he lived, you're right. I do not believe he always made the right choices. <laughs> but I know his heart was in some angry place. Oh, let us go. <laughs> okay. So you are now off to see the wizard? Which, I mean, you're going... I'm not good at perform eulogy. It's, uh, you gotta spec Dang. into it. It has yeah, some really weird good. synergies later. Sorry, uh, can you roll for your eulogy? What, what do you get? Is it actually a diplomacy check, or is it a perform check? Uh, do a perform check for me, because you probably have good diplomacy. Nice. Oh, oh yeah, two, you know what? That's accurate. Two. Okay, blood starts running down your nose. You die. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But eulogy was too bad. All right, I'm going to continue stealthing. Ooh, that's a real good stealthing. Stealth forward. Scout forward. As we are now aiding... Uh, terrorists. I know if the intellect of our needs to be in someone's bodies. They don't. They seem to be using it to avoid. Uh, like they were talking in front of a golem that was detecting them as aberrations, but then not attacking because they were royal. So it, uh, it was basically used to to fool the sensors and confuse and allow them to go places that normally they'd have to deal with. Oh wait, uh, loot the corpses. Unless they, oh. unless the uh, intellect, intellect devourers have already claimed them, uh, I think the the loot of the hospital has already been claimed. The corpses are still being kind of dragged by the intellect devourers. Oh, okay, then point. we're not gonna. Or like strapped to the back of the rust monster, because <laughs> they're still of value. Mm -hmm. They seem to think they can still be restored because they they weren't exactly alive when they found them either. That's fair. Okay, then we'll just continue. Actually, on. can I can I just do a knowledge religion or like? Guess it would be a heal check. Mm, mm -hmm. I'm not good at heal. To because I just want to make sure, like, yeah, they were dead before the intellect devourers found them. Uh, the signs you can see from these dwarves were actually consistent with the uh, well, the areas like the faces are covered in makeup a bit. To, to hide wounds and hide signs that they were, you know, corpses. Uh, the central, like the torso under the clothes is, there is some, you know, the clothes themselves are burned in areas, and uh, the uh, the main one, Wade, seems to have been almost completely bisected and stitched back together. Okay, so these guys were pretty dead dead. Yeah, uh, you would believe that this could have been the work of the other Soul Forge or any number of golem in the city. 
<laughs> or not the Soul Forge, but the War Forge, the uh, the big, the bigger, stronger ones. Yeah. This must okay. be the work of a an enemy War Forged. <laughs> no, I won't finish that. So, oh, by the uh, way, if, uh, depending on how this arc finishes, if one of your characters should die at any point, you can come back as War Forged. We will find a way. It'll okay. be awesome. Okay. Oh God, Aneski, <laughs> <laughs> you die. Wait, Not wait, like... wait, well, that kind of bloodline would be the weirdest thing. Sorry, I miss I misspoke. I don't mean you can be reborn as a Warforged. I mean, like, next character can be a Warforged. Ah, can... uh, oh, okay, yeah, just because sorry. I would love it. Aneski is the, like, was created for someone else's afterlife then put through a soul forge and reborn as an abomination soul. <laughs> Oof. Now, and then the hamster now a body's just an object once you're dead, so you can just shove that in the machine. It'll work fine. <laughs> it was a work of art made by whoever owned the body, I guess. <laughs> I mean, yeah, technically. Uh, body's a temple, so this is technically it's not... Like, okay, this this might be so, so what you're saying is we can't throw my hedgehog in there. We could try. I don't know if you'd want to. Oh, you, you'd create a creature of unbridled rage and power. <laughs> you'd create the raid boss. Okay, if you got your your hamster to... Or, sorry. Sorry. Your hedgehog. I'm so sorry. Just flip he... the tongue. I don't mean any offense. Uh, Paul, uh, don't kill me in is, real life. He's screaming. Okay. Because <laughs> he just got... Uh, Insulted by the gods, the narrator of the story, and only Paul knows. <laughs> uh, if you got Paul to, like, bite and chew and, like, cut a little shape of whatever, like, whittle a piece of wood with their teeth, maybe? Mm -hmm. You could throw that in there with a pile of gold and make a little angry <laughs> totem. That could be fun, actually. <laughs> Okay, just finishing the touches on this one. Uh, that token is too big. That ain't right. So we didn't actually expend much that that fight. No, you did real. You did that really easily. Which oh, is good. Uh, I I take I cast uh, mending on her her body. Yes. Good. Thank you. Uh, I, I could have gone the angle where it, the whole blade is destroyed, but I didn't want to, because that seems mean. <laughs> because destroying weapons is slightly dickish. Yes. Then you, but then she made a weapon out of its carcass. Actually, <laughs> d does their body, do their body, pot, body parts, like, keep that effect? Could you uh, make they a don't, like, uh, so you could make a weapon out of their body, I suppose, but it's not like they just snap back to their original form. The the original parts that made them are not present on their corpse. No, I mean, make like a giant mace out of the torso of the of the rust monster. Would it be a oh like uh, a, a stick on like put it on a stick? Basically, I don't know if they oh the rust monster. I don't believe so. I think they need to be alive for that attack to work, but. Okay, there so are if you just magic feed them, have, like... but, like, tape them together. Tape it. Okay, so you want to just have, like, a... <laughs> a rusty, rust-inducing weapon, but, you know. Like a rust monster gimp suit. On a stick. Attached yeah. to a stick. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> what did I say it was over there? Yeah. Uh... Sorry, I'm going through my tokens, because I needed a... Uh, damn, my folders... I have shortcuts to my other folders in these folders, and they're recursive, so I keep clicking something <laughs> and looking for something and <laughs> going around in circles a bit. That might not be the best way to do it. Shh. It's perfect. Okay, and how about... Ah, uh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, that's a one by one. Let's say. All right. 
almost there. Almost ready. We actually didn't end up killing any of the rust monsters. We came close. Well, that's good, because they are precious rare species, apparently. Oh, uh, I cast uh, in a, a charge of the Wand of Infernal Healing to help uh, put Nari back to full health. When did okay. I get it? Oh, he I think didn't. he got hit for like six damage. No, didn't get hit. No, no, uh, Sheer got hit. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought that Nari got hit. Be oh, regardless. Yeah. Then I don't use a charge. However, I do use a charge of Mage Armor on her. I'm Nari. Okay, I think we're ready. Do you want to have the intellect of ours come with you, or are you going to do this alone? What is your plan here? I mean, so they've described the artifact they want, right? Uh, they're right now. They want their, basically, their friends back that they lost entering the city. I mean, okay. they, I they've lost touch with their friends and uh, and the bag of holding that the friends had. Unless they have a reason to not come with us, I mean. Hmm. Hmm. Well, there is the reason of what if it's an ambush, and now you're really out. Oh no. But that is a reason for you, your characters, to decide not them. I think they're... Yeah, they could follow. Yeah. You can, for fight purposes, you can have them stand back. All right, I'll do that. Because I'm assuming that's like the way you balance following them. near us. Yeah. But... <laughs> All right. Uh, this should be good to go. Little, 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 little. little. Oh, wait, you can't see that. There's a thing up there. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Uh, they are more... The beach. Okay, they are pointed the other way, doing something. Oh, yes. Uh, so, the way that people used to enter the city was a path that came up around here, where this giant river flow is now. Like, into the, the wall there. Uh, you're on the north side of that riverbank. Okay. And uh, according to the uh, according to the intellect of ours, their friends were sort of swept up into the river, or otherwise lost hmm. by the river. All right. Uh, what you want to do? Uh, I'm scouting ahead. Okay. So. Uh... And keep in mind your sixty foot dark vision. It's still pitch black in here. Yeah. What is this up here? Is Are these buildings? Those are buildings, yeah. It's sort of a wall there. Well, nice buildings oh. on the south side, but they've been fairly swept into the river, destroyed. I guess kind of look around here. All right. Just kind of go uh, how... along the... All right, that's your stealth roll. Okay, that's yeah. quite good. Uh, if you look into the... The water, you can see figures near the bottom of it that are still moving, oh. but it's not, you're not sure, like, they don't see you, is all you know. Uh, I guess I'll roll a perception to get a better look. Sure. Because we were given descriptions, so, oh, that's a mm -hmm. bad roll. Yeah, the water is very murky. You don't mm. get too much. I uh, guess you know it's... I'll... Take separate a, figures. I'll take ten. Take ten? To, uh, to just kind of study? Can you do that? Alright. Right? Because if I don't have yeah. anything pressuring me, then... Yeah, I think... Okay, I think when we roll this dice, we are saying that the, how murky is the water rather than determining, like, how good do you look at stuff. If that makes any sense to you. Mm. Like, we're determining if Nari can see through the water, not... If she can do it in that instant. If that makes sense. Alright, you can just roll ten. I'm not winning you over, I guess. Sorry. it's These are all <laughs> abstract things as it is. Yeah, fair so. enough. So, effectively taking ten is like, he spends a minute and sees if there's a... Uh, Maybe like, it clears up a little. or If it clears up a little. Okay, yeah. Fair enough. Because it's still flowing. It's still moving water, right? 
So take 10, that's a 25. Yeah. Yeah, it is flowing water. Uh, you see them. Uh, they don't see you. They are moving around a bit. They're kind of... Uh, okay, what you do see is one of them goes, like, towards the street that mm -hmm. you're on, and under it. Huh. Going north. That's weird. Yeah. Uh, now you will back up and say, uh, they're going under the, under the water? There's like six of them. And they're going uh, north. What can you describe them? Not really. It's kind of hard to see. Hmm. They're, they're, they are the humanoid. Size, there are, uh, you can't really, you know they are medium sized and you know they are three, but that's about oh, it. three. You can see Not, it. Sorry. Yeah. How many are we looking for? You're looking for three. Oh, that might be them. <laughs> well, Just under the water, yeah. But uh, Aneski would have Don't to go know. in the water. Okay. Oh, that... Why Aneski? I'm not doing it. <laughs> I mean, the Adathi doesn't need to breathe. So oh, they have... Yeah. yeah, but it's it's water. True. How good are you at swimming? And not dying. <laughs> I am good at not dying. Yeah. Swimming, on the other hand. I, I'm, I'm pretty good at swimming, so... The person can... strength should probably be in the water. True. <laughs> I currently yeah. have zero in swim. Negative two. <laughs> oh, no, I put a rank I in. Water. I'm, I have one in swim. Aw, oh, yeah. I have, um... Eleven, so... Yeah, yeah, it's all you. Um, yeah, I'll do it. So let's move on up to the water. Okay. And uh, also remember, you can hold your breath for as many rounds as double your constitution score. Okay. Modify or score? Score. Damn. Okay, so 27. Why are we so good score. at holding our breath? <laughs> well, uh, every round you do more than just holding breath counts as two rounds. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. So effectively, like, if you're thrashing around, you can't hold it for as long. All right. And ask you ready to jump in the water? You're yes, going to do a cannonball, a standard dive, belly flop? What's the plan? Probably just like walk in the water. <laughs> no, the, <laughs> yeah. the water is uh, a bit of a channel here. It is um, I have two a question feet down though. from the edge. Mm -hmm. uh, my hedgehog. Does he come oh, with yeah, me or should... Uh... Uh, you can leave him up on the surface, but you won't get the rage. Uh, I probably won't say that your hedgehog rounds. I don't think okay. I'm going to do that today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe... But maybe. Uh, so the it's not like just walk into the water. The river has dug a bit of a channel here, and so it is a few feet deep. Or like okay. a, the water is a few feet below the, the curb. As okay, it were. so she just kind of like drops into the water. Okay. Makes a bit of a splash. And from the north, that... Uh, the thing we're not allowed to know about. Oh, you're allowed to know about it if you went up there, but... Uh, they turn around and they like just shout towards the water what the hell are you doing get away from the water <laughs> everyone roll initiative oh ooh that 20 okay Okay. And, oh yeah, I need to roll my own initiatives. Da -da -da. Okay. Goes into the 
guess the RPG channel would be better, right? Nah, screw it, general channel. That is <laughs> Nari point four. Or twenty four Nari. Uh twelve Bomar. Thirteen Aneski. Uh what's your deck? No, Bomar's deck is hard than this thing. I mean what there's no thing. This is the normal water. <laughs> and let me get the uh, do we see a thing? Not yet. Uh, yeah, okay. Those are both on. Well, I'm assuming I'm first. Uh, yes, you sure are. Uh, I guess I'll hold my act. I'll ready an action to shoot at anything threatening. Okay, because I don't, I can't do anything else like this turn. I mean, you could follow the advice of the mysterious figure in the north and run towards them, away from the water. I could. <laughs> you know what? Fine, I'll fight defensively and stand here. There you go. And okay, I have mage armor on. I forgot about that. Uh, yep. Is it lasts for an hour? So enjoy. Let me put the freaking. All right, I now have big armor. Okay. Can't wait till we're out of here so we level up. Then I'll have biggest armor. <laughs> it's gonna be a few more sessions there, Snake. Oh, to get out of the city? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay, uh, Aneski can see two figures in the water. Okay. Which seems to look at you and ready weapons. They oh, don't seem great. to be drowning. Well, They've just been sort of chilling down here, but they look... They look like regular-ass people. They're just standing under the water, is all. Sounds like what we're looking for. <laughs> yeah, suppose it does. Uh, okay. I mean, uh, uh, do we... while humans, or while their dead bodies don't need to breathe, uh, intellect devourers do. So being under the water, even as intellect devourers, is still odd. Ah. In unless they were in the body of a uh, something that didn't need to breathe. But yes. Uh, so they don't attack this turn, but they are seem to be gearing up towards it. Uh, Aneski, all you. Uh, okay. Um, you could get out of the water if you wanted. Yeah, that's G that give a like come a like the the Morpheus like come come here <laughs> uh, maneuver with one hand and then just step out of the water. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. Okay, uh, what an entrance! Yeah, that's all good. No, we alerted um, them. Yep. The Vomar, what you what you up to? You might want to. Step I'm a away. little bit concerned by all the uh, all the negative energy. I feel like that's being sent towards us. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the situation can be resolved peacefully, but it appears like we're going to be in danger from either one dude or another. Mm -hmm. So. Goodbye, invisibility sphere. Hello, haste again. Yeah. Okay. I like that. <laughs> and then I'm going to use the uh, haste to kind of move slightly away from the river and the dude yelling. <laughs> okay. Just run away from both. That's. <laughs> I have, like, I have a mighty 50 movement. Oh, yeah. You're... I thought you were 40 movement. You're 20 movement speed. I get plus 30 for haste. Okay. Fair enough. Unless, I, unless I'm remembering that wrong, because I've been through four different editions of haste. Hmm. I think you get up to your speed. Oh, okay. But so let I'm me 40. double check that for you. 
To a maximum of twice the subject's normal speed. Okay. So a hasted slime that moves five feet only moves a mighty ten feet. Mm -hmm. okay. Which is unfortunate, but... All right, it is the turn of the question mark. It does not do anything. Uh, you hear the, the figure in the in the distance yell again, No, you have to come here. This is not... You have to get away from the water. You don't understand. There's a... There's a and then she is cut off by... Just this gut-wrenching scream of something big. Oh, fun. <laughs> Sounds like a good time. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, top of initiative, Nari. Hmm. Hmm. I'll do a... Uh... Oh god, I could get all the way over here. Uh You know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll move I'll move back. Let's uh, We should probably go up. I I, I kind of trust that guy. I want Frosty to have to do the underwater rules. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, I'll, you, I'll move back and uh, I was just no wing it. I can't hold a standard action, right? If I've moved, uh, you can you can do a red. You a can ready, ready action. an action. Okay, I'll ready to. Uh, you shoot can ready at something. a standard action. Ready to fire. Actually, no. I'm going to use my gravity bow. No, that's uh, right. You know what? No, I won't, because I don't know if we even have to fight this thing yet. Okay. Uh, all right. The two figures in the water need to get closer. They seem to be poor swimmers, if anything. They make their way at staying completely under the surface. They make their way closer to the edge of the water. And ask all you. So, do you go? Uh, uh, which danger do you wish to face? Because you could, like, do a light jog. Yeah, why don't we group <laughs> up over there? Seems smart. Okay. Let's do that. Just in case there's something else in the water. Yeah, like that thing that's screaming. Which is what. Yeah, which is what I'm starting to get a. Oh, uh, I'm going oh, no, to be no. moving on my turn. So. Yeah, we're we're all moving up. Oh, cool. So get on up there. Get on up. Get on up. Like somewhere on this line, probably. Yeah. That Velmar will scuttle. Okay. Well, you can Next do a turn. full run, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you could get, like, right over. Mm-hmm. 40. How fast does your thing fly? Uh, hasted? It... It's probably faster than you, right? It's faster than me. Okay. My familiar does not need to, uh, work that hard. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, is it actually my turn? Yeah, all you. Okay. Well. Uh, move uh, there. I move 40 feet. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to see... If I can see... No, I can't see what's over there. You so I'm going moving? to cast... I'm going to cast light on a, on a nearby stone. Mm -hmm. And give it just like a toss to the river's edge. Okay. Yeah, that's not a bad play. Uh, so 
I do believe that, so it a stone, let's say, has a range increment of 20 feet. That would be, uh, I get a minus one total. Wow. <laughs> My stone goes nowhere near where I want it. It falls out of your hand before you're done the throw, which is... Lands by your feet. Uh, my but my still got light familiar on it. picks it up, and my familiar tries to toss it. Okay, better. I hit the five AC of an unoccupied square. Okay. There you go. Again, your iron weird throw. Because I, I could it see it. it out. I could see it picking it up and then dropping it somewhere else below it. I yeah, okay. It, it picks it up and drops it over. Like, yeah, it picks it up and drops it. Okay. But now it's over there. Wow, no. Okay. Uh, Nari, your turn again. Uh, I guess these two are. They don't leave the water, but they're at the water's edge. You can see their hands poke up occasionally. Huh. Uh, what, what, what can, can she... I... Yeah, I can see him. Uh, oh, yeah, you can see them. No, no uh... the person up top. Yeah, you can see them. Okay. Let me do a... Da, da, da. I have their description written down somewhere. In the meantime, how's how's the Super Bowl going? How's life? I mean, we've been doing this, doing? so... I wouldn't... I wouldn't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> we've been here the whole time, Frosty. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, fuck me. F fuck me, I guess. <laughs> uh, oh, it's currently tied. Oh, well, three, am I, three. Am I gonna have an upset really office tomorrow? Low I might have an upset game. office tomorrow. They're all patriots, and I'm like, I don't care. And they're gonna be real sad if they lose. Especially to the Rams, who people are like, they shouldn't have been there. <laughs> uh, so it's gonna be the Patriots underestimating their opponents again. Mm hmm. Just like that perfect season they lost. Okay, they are a, a dwarven figure in a robe, but they seem to be bearing a, a dwarven-looking crest, though you can't make out the exact details. Uh, actually, you could roll knowledge local. <laughs> no. No, okay. <laughs> uh, then, yeah, you got no They seem to be just... Like I, got I got nothing. They're a hooded dwarven figure with immaculate black robes with like gold trim on them they seem very fancy and somewhat regal maybe it's hard to say for sure hmm. but they are still beckoning you to come further they seem very afraid of that that their water the, do they have a hood on yes they have a hood up yeah. uh so nari moves to the corner and says uh Take the hood off. They do so? Like, and... you, you're wasting precious seconds. Well, we don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. I'm trying to be a good person here. I'm sticking my neck out for you. R roll sense mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. All right. Let me... They are lying in some capacity. It's pretty close. You just get the feeling that there's something here they're not telling. There's something not to be trusted. Well, I don't trust you. Well, I don't trust you. Would the, do you trust the giant screaming? Maybe you're the giant screaming. <laughs> <laughs> uh she just puts her hands up and uh, turns around and walks away. He's like, can't fuck this. That's fine. Fuck. That's, fuck act it. that's actually great. She goes off to the <laughs> to the north. Out of your vision. To be fair with magic, she could have been the giant screaming. Yeah. Uh, Aneski. All you? Oh, okay. Um... Chase no. after that. <laughs> no. Answer a <our> question. <laughs> Squiggle arm them. 
Oh yeah, you could I mean, grapple. I could. <laughs> you could. Be like, hey, we don't I put up could. with this shit. Okay, you know what? I haven't done anything <laughs> really aggressive today. So... Yeah, I, I charge the... <laughs> grapple, grapple, grapple. And I try to grapple the uh, fleeing shadowy person. Okay. Uh, you don't actually make it quite that far. Oh, she's oh, no. hasty. Ah, I knew it. <laughs> ah, I moved into the perfect <laughs> position. <laughs> oh my god, that was close. Yeah, it was. I'm like, uh, ah, where do I want to move? Ah, that seems fine. You are sprinting towards that uh, loose re image, and one of, just one of your footfalls does not hit anything. You, you plunge two feet, hit the water, and right beside you is just the... I suppose your actual position would be more like Irish. Fuck, I was okay. right! She was the screaming! <laughs> <laughs> you completely nailed it. <laughs> it's just a massive fish of sorts. Four big old tentacles. Yeah, well, she the has tentacles skin. too! Squid! <laughs> Squid fight! <laughs> Alright. The uh, real uh, battle. <laughs> As, if, if if she moves one thing closer, you can actually still attack. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna say... Fuck it. You get to attack. <laughs> you yes. haven't got to hit many people this, this much. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, have to, I have to ask, what is this? Uh, oh, that's, a, that's one of the figures that you saw move under the, the street. Oh, is it fighting the thing? Huh? Nope. Is it looking friendly? It's a little, it's a little goblin. Oh. Beyond that, it's hard to tell. Ooh, Does that's, that hit? That's a hit. It's that's, be. That is a, surely a hit. It's a big monster. They're usually not hard to hit. They're just hard to like, yeah. kill. Cool. Uh, okay. Now, piercing arrows... Piercing projectiles go through water okay, right? Uh, I'm gonna say... You, you're firing your soul at people. It probably goes through water. Sure. I'll take that's that. my justification. <laughs> Just because there's no... Unless it's very deep water. Like right. Water right. counts as twice the ranging from it or something. Not like a... Did I put this on map? I put it on map. Oh, it's fine for me. Or a token. Sorry. There we go. So you're saying it's twice the range increment? Uh, well, yeah, but you're not... I guess you're finding part of that under there. Depends on how shallow, how far up the monster is. Uh, it's near the surface. Okay, then. I think you're. I think you're fine to okay. do it as normal. Oh, right. do I get so my ready was... action? Uh, hmm. Because I didn't, get I didn't actually get my standard. That's true. Uh, your condition was that if something hostile came at you, which hasn't happened yet. But yeah, if that's fine. I'll skip. It's a big scary monster just a okay uh uh Nesky. no that was just yes. you Bomar uh my familiar comes that way I spend my move action to get here see the giant monster <laughs> roll a knowledge check what oh, is that Alexander could That's you leave app. could you disconnect and reconnect real quick yeah sure Maybe that'll fix the echo. That there be an abolith. An abolith. An abolith. They are. Uh, I think I... you would. With yeah. that check, and also with a. There's a particular history between aboliths and Eudathians. Oh. Uh, some historians believe that the Eudathians were. Thank you. Oh, no that's him coming back. I was like, who that? <laughs> Not to sound disappointed or anything. You are appreciated. You're. you're... But... Breaking my heart, Frosty. <laughs> uh, so what is uh, the giant fish thing? It's this called an abolith. This is an abolith. They are a large aberration, or a huge aberration, actually. Uh, their main thing is that they uh, use mind magic and illusions and uh, to capture their prey, and then they make them reliant on the abolith to breathe, because they will take away your ability to breathe air, force okay. you to breathe water, and then just abduct you down to the darkest depths, where even if, 
like even if you stage. broke free of their control, uh, you would drown before you actually got far enough away to free there again. Damn. Well, Paul they're, wants to they're very control. much no bueno. Yes, but they went almost extinct because of the Yadathian, it is believed, who don't need to breathe, uh, can't have their magic taken away and be enslaved. Uh, and can just, on a whim, prepare, like, air breathing, or water breathing, or whatever they need. So, like, one year uh, so I have, to I, one I, of I have a racial colonies. hatred of abolites. Uh, I, yeah. Just like I have a racial hatred of snakes. Yeah, just and like I just go, to... kill that bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know its gender, I don't care. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't think any aberration has that. We've established that, uh... True. That your death don't yeah, just, just sort uh, of pretend. Kill that, kill that thing. It is Aboleth. It will try to mind control you and make you not able to breathe air. <laughs> History lesson. <laughs> Boom. Done. History's important. Because, so, like, if they brought back one Yadathian by accident, their entire colony could be destroyed as they... Yadathian just breaks enchantments and gives people water breathing and sends them on their way. <laughs> like, they are bonkers. At dealing with this specific enemy matchup. <laughs> uh, so, I still get a standard action. You sure do. So, it's currently in water? It is in the water, yes. Okay. Uh huh. I am actually going to use my uh, Void School ability mm -hmm. on it, and it gets minus two to its AC and saves. Nice. Damn, all right. So, and it. then my uh, familiar is... Uh, I didn't charge it with any spell. Oh, well. Uh, my, my familiar spends its turn to get back to me. Okay. Cool. And uh, I just say, kill it before it can mind zonk you. All right. All yours. All right. Let's do a real flurry. I gave you haste. He did. Heal. Yeah. Destroy. Destroy. Uh, let's see. Oh, man. It is really good that you took that, uh, that two off of its AC. Because now those all hit. Nice. <laughs> yes. 36 damage. Lovely. Okay. This thing looks hurt now. There's blood in the water. Fiz like, literally. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. That's actually not right. No? No. I don't have gravity on. 30 damage. Okay, that's still quite good. The gravity only added, like, 2 damage per attack, eh? I guess it's law of averages and such. It's uh, 1d8 versus 2d6, so it's not, like, technically hugely different. Okay. Uh, alright. Next in the order is... The question marks, the little goblin by its side, uh, they reach into their cloak, grab a vial of something, uh, uncork it, begin to drink it, and then just feel embarrassed because it just, it goes into the water. And... <laughs> uh, the other two are, they are not on land, they are, they are on their way, but they are, again, not great swimmers. Gotcha. Uh... Oh, we we got to DPS this thing down before everybody gets here. Yeah. That'll be good because you're trying to save these people technically. Is this uh, uh is this thing gone? This hmm? Uh bit? yeah, that was also an illusion. Okay. As it was walking on a illusory wall or makes sense. Uh Aneski, all you. Okay, I want to hit it again. Many okay. hits. Get it attack it twice. Yeah. East power. Yeah, he's just nuts. Pad hits. And again. And... Yeah. I think you're going to kill this before it gets to do anything. That'd be great. <laughs> Which is good. Because <laughs> this is terrifying what it can do. Especially to Aneski. Yeah, I okay. I don't want to mind control Aneski coming at us. <laughs> That's okay, good damage. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Things freaking dead. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nailed it. It's like, huh, I <laughs> I can deal with three adventurers. <laughs> just um, 
You don't even. Yeah. It had a. It had a monologue once it got to its turn when you were in the water. <laughs> what was it the spent monologue? That time into my zone of control. It spent that time thinking about the monologue it was about to give, and then it was dead. <laughs> and it was like, oh, I should have focused on my defense. <laughs> Okay, so uh, the, the question is, can can we eat it? Because Paul wants to eat it. Huh. Uh, can you drag it out of the water? How it is an aberration, like? right? Or oh, no? so you're right. That's a bit cannibalism, Belmar. Uh, well, I don't I think... Eat it, but I could prepare it for others. Are aberrations actually healthy to eat? Uh, lots of underdark cuisine based on them. Okay. But... In this case, uh, this thing has some nasty effects on touch and on, like, on touch and in the so, general area. It's probably not healthy. Dude. Would it be knowledge dungeoneering to figure out what parts are edible? <laughs> it's okay. like that poisonous gonna... puffer fish. you got to cut <laughs> yeah. it up real good. Okay. <laughs> you know, with a 23, you're able to... to... I remember my great uncle once served us... <laughs> You're able to say, like, okay, tentacles, definitely no. Mouth, definitely no. Uh, anything around that area? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Just like the general, like, fish flanks of it. Okay, because, yeah. Uh, but you've got to cut it up, like, with uh, with the halberd, because if you get too close, you're going to lose the ability to breathe or <laughs> the roll to do so. Oh, no, we drag it to water's edge. Then mucus can't get to you. Okay, yeah. You just kind of stick your uh, halberd in it and drag it with you. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, so what, what what's happening with the others? I believe their mind control just ends. They were dominated, so okay. Without anyone to order them, I think they're fine. So they should be coming to the surface then. He, well, they're still uh, unable to breathe air for a couple more hours. I think oh. a couple with that this cloud for three hours. I guess we yeah. could. I mean, so they're just kind of at the water's edge, like, "Hey, sorry about that. Didn't mean to." <laughs> hi, hi there. What's your name? <laughs> we are normal Drow and Dwagar. Uh, yes, we know your intellect intellect devourers. We were sent here by your friends. We are uh, not intellect devourers. We are merely allied with intellect devourers. <laughs> the goblin says, "Me too." Hey! They give thumbs up. <laughs> uh, okay, I, wanna... I just love how the fact that they're about to go on their spiel about, yes, we're supposed to be here, <laughs> just cut right through it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the situation. I'm an aberration, your aberrations inhabiting non-aberration bodies who are being controlled by another aberration. Oh, this gets very complicated. Nara just starts Welcome drinking at this point. <laughs> Also, I wanted to share the amazing. That's pretty that good. Did. I like that. Right? Okay, so this goblin, there's something called a dragon blood chemist who can do a breath weapon and a uh, mutagen that makes them draconic. <laughs> and so that is who this goblin is. <laughs> nice. Yes. Also, it's just, I it's found this image. picture and I needed to make them something. It's, it's real good. It's real good. Anywho, they are not actually that big. Not yet. <laughs> oh, wait, no, they are. They fry them out of the water. They <laughs> breathe lightning. Uh, sorry, the I need the attack. It's Godzilla. <laughs> oh, no. Da, 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 da. Gobzilla? Gob Goblinilla? Yeah. Gobzilla. Yeah. Anywho. You have successfully rescued these three. I think if the yeah. intellect of ours were nearby, they are. Uh, going to spend the time and rest with these three as they eventually recover the ability to breathe air. Uh, and, uh, we carve up bits of the edible, the edible parts of the apple, <laughs> and I cook them. Okay. <laughs> so we're making a fire and everything up here. Did did yeah. we actually uh, did we actually discuss a reward with the uh, intellect of ours? Not really. Uh, they were sort of the contract holders. "Quote unquote." Uh, when so they, they ask inhabited you to do it. the dead body right. of the contract. So I guess we should eat, we should ask for a little something and maybe a favor. Oh hmm. yeah. Let me think. What would? Okay. Uh. 
And especially, like, how to contact them again in the future. Like, you know, basics. To forge this alliance between weirdos and then mind people. Okay. Okay, I know what happens here. Uh, the, uh, the intellect of our takes a, a necklace off of the corpse of a, uh, like the, the main dwarf. Uh, they, or no, actually they go into the bag and they come out with a necklace and they say, this was given to me by that dear friend that I lost and, uh, you might need it in times to come. And they give you a Golem Bane Scarab, which I will link. So this allows you to detect golems within 60 feet, and it allows you to uh, bypass their DR with... Uh... Weapons, yeah. unarmed attacks, and natural weapons. Where's the link? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, in the general chat. Ah, I was looking in RPG chat. It's... This is actually quite good. It's mm -hmm. either a Nari item or a... Definitely a Neski. A Neski. Because I have... Uh, I ignore DR. Oh, you already do? Yeah. Okay. Because of your magic or... You because of uh, Cold Bolt. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So I do technically elemental damage, which ignores all DR. Okay. Except nice. for elemental resistance. Right. But I can turn it off if I need to, so that's fine. <laughs> But if something has both, haha, <laughs> I found your weakness. Thing. That's a weird enemy. <laughs> to have cold resistance and DR is weird. I am Bob Frost and weapons immune. Haha. <laughs> Take that, Nari. Oh no, a Nessie cut me in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm also going to say, Vomar, you see on this scarab a familiar marking because it's the marking of the cult which is something that you put on oh. some of the items that you have made over the years oh wait I look at it I look hard would I suspect that this is something I've made I don't know that yeah. is up to you entirely I'm going to say huh uh, I'm actually going to do a spellcraft check to see how old the item is Okay. Is that a uh, thing you can do with spellcraft? I don't know. Uh, I think that you probably could. Like, it would probably give you a ballpark. <laughs> okay, yeah. This thing is within 10 years old. Hmm. So that is well within the range that you were... Like, you could have made this recently before you got picked. Ah! Well, you've come home, you little, you little bugger. I say to the golem bane scarab. <laughs> uh, I might have actually made this one, but I uh, have a bit of a loss of memory. So it, it is nice for it to come home. I guarantee the person who made that ain't, ain't among the living anymore. Oh, how are you so sure? Huh? They, they got brained. Some drow asshole came up when we were, that we were tired. We had just cleared a dungeon. We were getting that stupid cup that the drow ended up just leaving behind. Uh, and they came in behind us and kicked the crap out of me and them. And no, he's just drinking, I'm me, so drinking I... her mug, just happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm me, so I live, but. They, they weren't so lucky. I what? tried to revive them a couple times, but I guess they don't want to come back, so... That's... that's Sounds life. like a quitter! Right? Oh well. They, they deserve their rest. They did so much for our cause. <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh... So they gave us the, the golden, yep. Golem Bane Scarab. Mm-hmm. And they also, uh, they're also they also going to say, also, you have first dibs on the museum. We're not going to be there for a while. Uh, if you want in, it's all yours. We're not going to fight you over it. Okay, so it sounds like we're in for a night at the museum. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and Stiller. 
<laughs> and they're in for a night at the museum too. So uh, less good. That that hurt. <laughs> Oof. It's like a pickaxe to the Ouch. head. <laughs> uh, and just as <the> subtle. <laughs> so I guess we'll just kind of skirt this water and keep on going. Uh, All right. Oh, but um. Hey, can we count on you guys in the future? Yeah, I'll tell you what, if you, uh, they check that symphony is out of earshot and they, well, they speak telekinetically, everyone is out of earshot if they want to be. T tele telepathically. Yeah. Telepathically. <laughs> Which, no, they... They're throwing objects at us to teach us things. <laughs> They're throwing <laughs> notes that they've written telepathically. What does it mean? <laughs> uh, the telepathic thing they tell you is, if you want to take out that, that forge and make sure that it never gets into the hands of the Durgar and others who can't use it responsibly, you let us know. We will we will fight to... We're on the same side there. Okay, so they've given us an option to destroy Soul Forge. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. I think we're at uh, 10 to 10. So I don't think we can do much more here. Yes, yeah. I don't have a map from the museum quite yet. So, uh, such is how you ended the uh, this session. We'll put you back on the main map. Uh, you are there. The museum is right next by, and I assume that will be your next stop in the next episode. Yeah. So, so Frosty. Mm hmm. Uh, I I was wondering. Uh -huh. If uh, if we just said, you know what, this Soul Forge seems like a pretty cool thing, mm -hmm. and we just wanted to like rebuild this dwarven city and make it a base, yeah, uh, that's an option. Uh, there are okay. many endings to this story, and that is definitely one of them. <laughs> okay. Cool. Cool. Coo, 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 coo. Finger right. guns at the at the moment. <laughs> we, cool. we good? <laughs> okay, I good. Uh, I, I'm good. Uh, All right. This seems like a logical breakpoint. Bye, stream. Bye, bye, -bye. stream. Bye, stream.